All right, everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday, October, I don't know, 16th or something like that. As you can see, the calves are separated from their mothers. Um, this is the first real corn silage they've had. They've had some. Um, I've been feeding the cows a little bit here the last week, so the calves get a little bit. So, last night or yesterday, yeah, last night, I load up the last of the steers, haul them to the sale barn, and, yeah, it's going to be noisy. I uh, left all the gates open into this pen, and after the cows were done eating the corn silage, they came for water. And, of course, they get nosy and they want to come and eat corn stalks. Well, somebody found out this pen was open. Well, last night when I come out to check on everybody at 10 o'clock, they were all in here. So I closed my gates back there so they're all locked in. And then this morning, if you can see here, all the big squares that I had in the machine shed are now over where we're putting this addition on. They're going to be used basically as scaffolding. Um, or if I'm up on the roof and I fall, I'm going to only fall about 6 feet instead of falling 16 feet. So, anyways, I uh, got all those bales moved this morning, being everybody was locked in here out of my way. Um, and then I just sorted the cows out about half an hour ago. I gave them a bucket of corn silage because I needed them out of my way so I could put a poly wire around the building site there. Because obviously when I sort them out, they saw the hay there and they can reach it from the outside. So they decided they were going to start eating on my hay over there. So I gave them a bucket of corn silage, put a poly wire around it so they can't get to it. Um, and then I gave these kids some corn silage with just a little bit of feed in it. Um, it's about a half a bucket in there. And then I just put a pail of feed over it and stir it in with a pitchfork. And dumped it in there um, yeah and I'm, I'm getting over a cold so my nose is still running and coughing but uh um, you can see the bales in here I'm gonna go get the building materials probably tomorrow morning the rest of my lumber and then I'm gonna run down to Menards and get the steel and the horse dumped over water a dummy and you can see I have a straight line in here for set my two center posts um, I've got to go get the concrete drill hammer hammer drill deal because um, we're gonna drill a hole in the bottom of the post and then a drill a hole down in the concrete and we're gonna set a pin down in there to help hold it and then I'm gonna cut some angle that will bolt to the bottom of the post and then use um, concrete anchor bolts also to help hold them down um, but as you can see I've got these two bales here so I hopefully can reach up um, to the these posts to set them I'm gonna end up having my wife balance these posts up there while I get the boards nailed on and then after that it'll be showtime get them all up get it done and then the hay on this side I'm going to feed up first and this hay over here, this is actually better hay. This is going to be for the horse and for if I have anybody in this pen or in these calving pens. So that's where we're sitting right there. Um, and I got to carry more water to the horse. Doofus. So, um, and then out here. I mentioned the other day that I made my pen back to what it used to be, back to there, because the plan is I'm going to, at the edge of the concrete here, set posts and make this a pen from here over to here. And then this first 24 feet, I'm probably going to buy feeder calves to put in here. Um, I found a person where I can buy wean calves from. So I think I'm going to buy wean calves. I'm going to put them in this pen. And I'm going to raise them till spring and sell them. And then next spring I'm going to buy another group. Um, and then 
They're gonna stay in this pen until I wean next fall. And then I'm gonna take these two gates down here and then it'll be kind of an L-shaped pen here. Um, that's kind of my thinking. So that's what I got going on here. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna pour concrete this fall because I got a different idea what I can do through here. Um, I'd really like to have a covered feeding area um, like these drive through barns and what I'm thinking about doing is putting a row of posts another row of posts pouring concrete and having it like where they come in on this alley to eat on both sides and feed down the center and then I'm thinking in the alleyway I just put two six foot gates and then I'm gonna have it back like six feet away from the alley so I can have another gate so when I'm working calves, I can run them back around to this side. And then I can always have that open. I could feed on both sides, steers. And then during the winter, if I want, I could feed the cows on one side and the calves on the other side. Because obviously when they're smaller, they don't need as much space to eat. Um, so if I do that, I'm going to put posts. I'm probably just going to go like a six foot overhang on both sides or whatever. Just, it'd be nice to be able to feed them and not have their feed get wet. And being I am thinking about doing TMR, um, I'm going to find a stationary TMR, and I've actually found a few. Um, and then a power feed cart, probably, where I can fill the, t the TMR with a skid loader and then pull a TMR cart underneath it, fill it, or the feed cart, power feed cart, and then feed in here. That's kind of what I'm thinking because doing cost comparison I can buy a stationary TMR mixer for 1500 to 2500 bucks a really nice one for 45 and I've got a line on a power feed cart for 500 bucks and I can't remember if it's a Val metal or whatever it is uh, 530 so it's a pretty decent size one with a Honda engine uh, a couple hundred bucks needs a little bit of work but nothing too serious so but then I could uh, do TMR It'd be easy, they'd be covered for the most part. Um, and then it would be versatile for, like I say, I could feed steers or cows. The cows are planned out winter out in the field as much as possible, so it's not really as much for feeding them as it is for steers because, you know, I can feed all the calves on one side in the winter, and then during the summer, once they get bigger, I can start feeding on both sides. But it just would make more options and instead of adding onto the back there if I build it right here everything's kind of all here and you're already plowing up here anyways so you're not plowing extra snow back there to get a feed cart around or whatever otherwise I have talked to a company in the middle of Wisconsin that builds TMR mixers and I told them kind of what I was after and they said they would build me whatever I want basically so I could always get a TMR mixer that has an engine on it um, and then wheels and basically what I told them is I'd want a skid loader mount on it to where it has an engine that's running on its own I can throw all the feed in it it's mixing and then I can dump the bucket hook the skid loader up to it hook up the hydraulic lines for the door and the engine on it is what's running the mixer then I could run it in here flip the lever and feed it out and then go back and do the same thing um, but they're uh, designing one and going to shoot me a price on one, and we'll see what that looks like. But that's, if anything, that would be next summer because I want to get this other project done first. But I want to pour concrete here anyways because it's a low spot. So if I set up the posts, then a cement truck and drive right down the center and pour the cement, and then on the other side, set up, you know, have the post set, pour the cement. So and then it'll be. At least the feed area be covered, the where their locking might not be covered. It, it all depends, just have an overhang, so who knows. Just an idea. But anyways, that's what's going on today. Um, the bean head, you can see in there is on the combine. I'm going to change the oil and everything in him today. And if the beans look like they could go tomorrow, we're gonna give it a shot. Um, and if they are ready to go, we're gonna go get the um, grain cart hooked on the magnum so I can just fill him because that 16 acres over there I don't think is going to fill the grain cart once it's pretty sad the deer have a lot of a knockdown 
Um, that land over there, I just, no matter what I plant over there, can't get to produce. So uh, I'm talking to a big dairy about trying to get some manure put on there because I just don't have enough manure to get over there and cover that too. So hopefully that would help out for next year. But if it does fill the grain cart, I have two gravity boxes I can fill. So, But my other field's on the corner up here. I checked on the way home from the sale barn last night, and it's not ready to go. So anyways, it's just a little update of what's going on today. So it's going to be a noisy next couple of days. But tis the season. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you all later.